is code.org. I'm currently working on CS Principles, Unit 5, Building Apps, Lesson 4, Controlling Memory with Variables, Part 13. Other ways to assign values to variables. Programs become much more interesting when the values and variables change while the program is running. We can also assign a variable the value returned by a function. For example, variable sum value equals random number. Yeah, because random number is technically a function. So whatever it puts out, say it spits out 57, it returns the number 57, and some variable would then equal 57. Uh, because uh, be, because the random number function evaluates to a number, it means that you can treat it as though it were a number. We've used it before by plugging it in to some function that needs a number as a parameter, like move forward random number 2550. Because the random number function generates a new and different number each time, it is called one one thing we could not do before we had variables was generate a random number and use the same number for two different things, right? Because each time you call a random number, it gives you a different number. Unless you create a variable that's assigned to that random number. Because when the program runs, at least for that single time it runs, that variable is going to equal whatever number that was. And you can use it multiple times. All right, do this. Write a program that simulates the rolling of two dice and report their individual values as well as the sum. The program should generate two random numbers between 1 and 6, store each value in its own variable. Display the individual values of the dice. Display the sum of the two dice. Every time you run the program, the result should be a little different. Let's see what we have so far. Okay, and they want it like this? Okay. So I'm in text mode. You could be in block mode. So this is a variable die one. I'm just going to copy, enter, I'm going to paste. I'm going to call this die two. And then they have this on a second line, so I'm going to write class day 2. And this should output the display like they have. I don't have the total yet, but let's try. And a 3, yep. And then the total... And then this will be a string for a total of, there's a few ways you can do this. They might want a variable, but it's not actually necessary. I can force it to do addition here. Oh, it might just put them back to back. Let's see. <laughs> so it's a six and a four. But if I put them together, it will add, because 2 plus 4. So if I put a parentheses around them, then it will add. I could also use, and maybe it would be better to do total equals die 1 plus die 2 semicolon, and then I could write total here. Because now I have a variable that's set to that. Ta-da! Awesome. Let's keep going.